What's up collectors, it's your friendly neighborhood Moscato Bot here coming to you with an update video. Um, so we got a lot of things to review. Things that I've had opened like the uh, 1984 T-800 Terminator. I just picked up T-1000 from Target. Picked this guy up at Walmart when I went to go see Bruce Campbell. I was definitely in a uh, Evil Dead mood. Uh, saw Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness at the drive-in. Got to meet Bruce Campbell, got a picture with him, and got a cool uh, COVID-19 mask of Evil Dead. Uh, my video's up for the uh, Raphael Casey Jones uh, two-pack from NECA Toys. Got lucky and got this. Had some friends help me out. Uh, Walmart helped me out. Um, so uh, really, really happy that I got this guy. Got a review up on him. Also, we have coming the uh, NECA SDCC exclusive of the Glow in the Dark Alien. This is Big Chap. Uh, I did open up my IT Chapter 2 Pennywise, and I am, uh, I got him over here. I'll show you guys. I am planning a review on him. That head fell over. But, you know, I was really excited, so I'm glad we're going to do a review on this guy. Next review that I do have coming out will be my Earthrise Optimus Prime. So we got the, some Earthrise figures. I'm just going for the... G1 figures, of course. Love the Transformers show on Netflix, the Transformers Siege, it's amazing. I still gotta watch the last episode. But uh, yeah, we'll be during, doing Earthrise Prime. And I got that set up right here. You can see Starscream, Earthrise Prime, Cliff Jumper, and Wheeljack looking really, really good. Recently, I did get the uh, Ghostbusters for 70 bucks at Megalopolis, and I got these little accessories at Hobby Lobby. The table, the chairs all came together. I think that was like 10 bucks and the toaster was like three bucks because I wanted to do that little toaster scene from Ghostbusters 2. That review is up you guys so please go check it out. Um, yeah, like I said, Megalopolis, they got great deals. They have a rewards program. They're not sponsored by me at all because I'm a tiny, tiny speck in the uh, YouTube toy review world but we're moving up there. We're almost at 2,000 subs so greatly appreciate that from you guys. But yeah, got all these dudes for 70 bucks the whole way, which is pretty awesome. Love that Vince Clortho uh, Terror Dog build a figure. And then I picked up at my local comic book store the uh, Halloween 3 pack. So I'm really excited to review this. A lot of the uh, toy reviews coming up, you guys. Um, everything's a little bit on hold again. Oh, real quick. I also picked up that Battle Cat from the uh, Mattel Masters of the Universe Origins line. And this is all my Walmart had. I had to get Battle Cat, plus my cat is named is Cringer. Not that one, that's Salem. But yeah, Cringer's my special boy, and I got Battle Cat, so I can't wait to get the rest of this line going. We'll have a little He-Man shelf up. Really digging the Origins line, so I can't wait to find the figures actually in store. Um, also, picked up the uh, Spirit Halloween Michael Myers statue that lights up. I have a video on that, check that out as well. You guys, the reason I'm telling you to check out some of these uh, videos that I've done in the past uh, week or so um, is because I got sick with my skin disease again. I'll just show you guys my hand there. You guys can kind of see it's kind of broke out a little bit all over and it's uh, not good. It's taken a lot out of me. It's a pretty bad breakout this time. So I'm out the rest of the week. I'm just at home healing up here. I got my meds and medication. It's one of those things where it's not contagious, but you know, I got it, it's a rare disease, and when it comes, it wants to come, but, you know, my work is great, I got uh, FMLA, so, you know, that's that really helps out when I gotta miss work for a long period of time, it's, you know, it's called erythema multiforme major, I got it from a bad reaction to amoxicillin when I was in my 20s, I'm gonna be 33 next month, so, it sucks, and it's, it's like evil, just like Michael Myers, it sleeps, and it comes back when it wants to. But unfortunately, it's like every month instead of just once a year on Halloween, so. But anyways, you guys, that's it. Um, Real quick, I'll give you a quick little pan around. The shelves are done. Got the Amiibo up, got the Tataka up. I'm still working on uh, really getting all this ready for that big, you know, review or review room tour video. So got a lot of stuff to still put away. Sorry for the lighting in here. I want to get some better lighting in here for you guys and... Uh, you know, just really make it really awesome when we do that, you know, full reveal of everything in the toy room. And I know you guys have kind of seen everything now, but these aren't how the shelves are going to look. I'm just kind of using that for my review station right now and my little backdrop until I get it all filled up and set up with what I want to do. Like that falcon's not going to be there. I still got some paint over there from when I did touch-ups, you know, but lots to 
do still. This is the new movie room. So we finally got it painted. I don't know if you guys remember how brown and crappy it was from before, but got some of my favorite movie posters up. Looking nice. Window to the outside world. There's my closet into the game room. It's coming along. Jaws poster, put the McFarlane Jaws Orca scene right above it with a little shelf. Got another Turtles poster that I want to go ahead and put up right there by the quarter scale. And I'm still working on it. You can see things are, uh, you know, Spider-Man fell down, Batman fell back, and I'm kind of working on all that stuff there. But, you know, some more posters going on, some Star Wars action, at, -AT NECA Batman, NECA Crow, the quarter scale Turtles. And that's like an old Spider-Man 2 with like 60 points of articulation or something. It's got a lot that it can do. Maybe 60 is overselling it, but yeah. Um, Drive-in photo signed by Bruce Campbell. I'll get a closer look at that later. But uh, yeah, got a lot of work to do. Little cat area that we got to paint that room next, but it's a nice ocean blue. It's called Celeste. Um, and over here, two of my wife's favorite movies. Rocky Horror Picture Show with the Rocky Horror Pops and Harry Potter poster. So we're gonna get a new TV. Obviously that cat tree's not gonna be there or the little cat bed, but for now, you gotta work with what you got. Improvise, they really missed that window, so we just kind of rigged that up there and it's fine. Yeah, but I wanna get a new, you know, maybe a 60 inch TV mounted to the wall there. Get a new couch for in here. <laughs> A new table, definitely, that's pretty old, but you know, you gotta make these adjustments as you go. So, yeah, it's a really big room. If I back it up here, I mean, this room is huge, huge. Some boxes in my closet, so a little, got a lot to do still. No, but yeah, that's what's going on, you guys. Sorry, I'm uh, in my underwear right now, so you can't see down below. Plus, I look kind of gross. I got a few bumpies and places I don't want, so it's it's a tough week. I feel like crap. I'm on a bunch of meds. I got a steroid shot today, and yeah, so gonna heal up for the week, you guys. Oh, I wanted to show you guys, too, my buddy Keith made that little NECA wooden logo for me, which is really great with my display, and I got my VHSs with my turtles, so tech deck for Donatello there, because he rides a skateboard in the first movie quite a bit, but yeah. Just little previews of the full review. We're going to get in depth with the few reveal and obviously we'll have some background music. We'll just, you know, pan around everything and make it look awesome and we'll have fun. Got some fun ideas for what music to put in there. And I know I'll probably get a copyright strike, but I'm not making very much money on these anyways. And as long as like they can be on YouTube and on my channel and people can enjoy them, enjoy them I want people to enjoy them, then that's all that really matters, you guys. But we're almost at 2,000 subs. Thank you all. I promise you, as soon as I get a little bit better here, hopefully we can get that Optimus Prime video out, and then we'll just go over the other Transformers real quick. I won't go in depth too much with a review on the others. Um, Prime's my favorite, but, you know, we'll take a good look at the uh, figures. We'll see somewhat. We'll do, like, mini reviews. I'll just show you how they move and all that for Wheeljack, Cliff Jumper, and Starscream. But, yeah, you know, and then we'll go over some of those NECA guys. You guys know NECA's my favorite, so, but... That's going to be all for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoy. Give you a little insight of what's to come for the channel. I just got to get better, you know. I'm super excited to do that uh, Halloween 3 pack over there. You know, support your local comic book shops, you guys. I went to my local Graham Cracker Comics. I'm out of breath, man. I, I do not feel good. Don't worry. It's not COVID, but I just... it's It takes a lot out of me, this thing. But, uh... Support your local comic book shops. They, they're awesome. They get stuff, they need help too. And you know, with Target and Walmart getting all this NECA stuff, you, you still gotta support your local comic book shops. So again, you guys, I'll just ramble. Love you all, thank you so much for watching. Till all are one with Scuttlebots. I'm gonna get better. Let's get to 2000, then 3000 and beyond. You know, I'm, I'm excited. So I got a lot planned for the channel. 2020 is crazy and I'm not there yet. With equipment and lighting, you know, I wanna get there before I truly come back, but I'm trying to squeeze in some content that is just me talking about toys because at the end of the day that's what it's about man us playing with toys being a kid you know i grew up in 87 you know 90s kid and i miss it that's plain and simple so nostalgia hey i, I love my nostalgia so love you all